Well, a private company is attempting to be the first independent entity to land a spacecraft on the moon. That craft, known as Nova C, is just days away from that lunar landing. Fox 11's Hal Eisner, he's here to talk more about that now. Hal? Thursday will be a real nail-biter of a day. That's according to some of the folks close to this mission. It's when the Nova C lander will descend onto the south pole of the moon. Why a nail-biter? Because those who were with the mission say that's a very difficult place to land. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 1969, the first of six manned missions to the moon. The last was 1972. But then a week ago... Three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff. That's when NASA, SpaceX, and an American company called Intuitive Machines sent this unmanned rocket with a number of payloads to the moon. Its mission is to confirm what only scans have shown so far, that there's ice on the south pole of the moon, which means there's water which would be needed for life and possible future settlements. How excited are you? I'm ecstatic. We first met LA fashion designer Dahlia McPhee in 2018 when she showed us this fireproof horse blanket she invented. This is for like a quick evacuation. Horses fled frantically from the Lilac Fire in San Diego County in 2017. 46 died. McPhee hoped her new creation might prevent that in the future. Now her blankets and other fashions seen in artful forms are on the way to the moon. And she feels out of this world. I can't explain what that feels like. It's quite surreal, to be honest. Why did you pick Dahlia's work? She's always doing something cutting edge, and space is cutting edge. Dahlia's well known for being loving of animals as well. And I think this is part of the human journey. And it's that human journey that Dallas Santana, Beverly Hills company Space Blue, is trying to show in the payload he and his team curated that includes 77,000 artifacts from 222 projects, etched onto various nickel plates where the images can be seen by the naked eye. There's also a Stan Lee universe that's not Marvel, but a universe called Legion. Artwork and characters that have never been seen in the world before by his fans and notes taken in some of his last meetings. Two weeks after landing on the moon in 1969, we had Woodstock. We felt it was important to go and gather up some of these Woodstock artists, do music, unheard un, uh, of songs and photographs, and also put them on this mission. And there's so much more that will land on the moon Thursday in a time capsule about the size of a laptop. So as excitement builds towards touchdown, Dahlia McPhee says, Any time from this point on that I'm a little bit down or questioning myself, I can look up there and say, you made it to the moon. Wow. Wow. The landing is expected to happen at 12 noon on Thursday. You can say that, huh? <laughs> that just gave me the chills. Man. Yeah, it's Goose Puppy. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And what are you most excited about? I, you know, I think it's a very exciting opportunity. It's dangerous. I mean, you know, the, that part of the moon is very uh, crater-filled. It's, it's not an easy place to land. Others have tried. It hasn't worked. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's going to be the nail-biter part. But, you know, nonetheless, it's, it's a great challenge, a great opportunity, a good try, and uh, all the best. Okay, so you're going to follow up on Thursday. We'll follow up. Okay, very good.